So this would be a fairly standard road for New Zealand, especially in the central North Island. And uh, the watch is saying 65 decibels if I stop talking. So pretty quiet ride, probably helped by some very substantial tyres. Oh, that's a 19 kilometres an hour. Cruise control does slow down going into corners, which is good because I wasn't feeling quite as brave as I thought I was. So I've just taken. Heaters, and I'm very pleased to report they are very warm. And I've just found some more interesting terrain to drive the car, and it seems to handle pretty well as you'd like from an EV. Um, Rear wheel drive is always the way to go if you can't do all wheel drive. There's a little expression of interest from the yeah, thank you for that from the lane assist that's just going to come through these corners here staying pretty central in the lane but it seems to be unhappy with my choices fair enough robots know what they're doing much better than silly soft squishy humans a couple of thoughts on the twisties and Windy parts are probably more interesting parts than drive back just then. The ID3 is quite uh, soft and uh, forgiving, a bit wallowy. It's certainly not the last word in the decision when you're uh, driving through winding parts of the road. But on the flip side, that is probably less than 1% of the driving that we actually get to do here in New Zealand. So it's fine. Like all EVs, batteries down low, so the centre of gravity is low, so it's very, very predictable. And soft suspension and big, pliable tyres mean that it rides the bumps uh, rather than skidding over them like uh, some sports car can. So this is the part of the drive which we're going to call Jay's Pie Reviews. Uh, we stopped at the Z station and I had the... Uh, Kumara and lemongrass gourmet pie and it was delicious that's the most important thing you need to know it was fantastic I don't normally go to Z stations because I like BP pies but there's like a whole range of vegetarian and vegan pies there which I will be sampling very muchly over the next couple of weeks I thought I'd just pull over next to some attractive scenery the most attractive thing that I can find in Turangi is is naturally the uh, charge net fast charger. Turang is a beautiful place but if you're running low on charge there is nothing so beautiful as a DC fast charger within range. A uh, couple of things I really really do like about this car. Uh, it is supremely comfortable. Uh, we've been uh, driving over all kinds of roads and we've done uh, 65 decibels was as loud as it got uh, which is impressive, very impressive. Uh, what else is great? Cruise control was super easy to start working. That's fabulous. The heated seats are extremely warm. You do have to find them in your menu. That's kind of annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Um, few people have mentioned that the window switches, you only have two switches, and then you swap by pressing the button to go to the rear. The amount of times I've pulled up next to something, reached down without looking, because I'm focused on something else, and pulled the opened the back window like an idiot, is is unreal. Well, with this, it's quite difficult to do that. So this is a nifty little feature. What else do we like? There's loads of places to stash stuff. Um, and one more thing. One more thing that I really like. Feels like a golf. I bloody love golfs. The Vox, it's got a Volkswagen badge on the front, so I'm automatically fairly happy. And it drives like a Volkswagen. It's uh, it's certainly not Golf GTI, but it's more Golf driver um, because of big tyres and a, a bit more comfort. Again, it's New Zealand. We we don't have long 
winding, sweeping, fast roads. We have 60 mile an hour, 100 kilometer an hour speed limit roads, most of which are fairly straight with uh, the occasional turn in there. So when you get to something that is a bit more entertaining, you can enjoy it within the speed limit. You feel like you're pushing it, but you look down at the speedo and you're doing like 10, 20 under. So it's it's a safe way to enjoy life, I think. Pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go home, drink my coffee.